3,000. 3,000. How did I even get here? I mean, it's just amazing. I remember back in 2007, I was making a 50 subscriber special. 50! And this was after 11 full reviews. And somehow, despite all the long vacations I took, I'm still at 3,000, and I can't thank you all enough. So today, I am doing a commentary on Budokai 3, the very first still gaming review. Why did still gaming come to be? Well, a lot of factors. Back in December of 2006, there was a current fad that was all the rage, and that was angry reviews. Lots of people pissed off at old video games. Some were very good at what they do, like uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, no, Spoonie One wasn't around yet, but th there was some big name people out there that were good with what they do. And there were others that were just god awful. A lot of them. Here's a bit of useless trivia that most people probably don't know. The first episode of Still Gaming is actually a parody. It's a satire of all the uh, not so good angry video game reviewers out there back in the day that they thought they were all that when they really weren't that good at what they did. So in this review, I act just like them for the most part, but I'm wearing a shirt that says Crab Trap for God's sake, and my hair's all crappily brushed. The rest of the reviews, they weren't really parody. I was still wearing ridiculous shirts that look kind of stupid, but nothing as ridiculous as Crab Trap. More useless trivia. Crab Trap is a restaurant in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Anyway, why did I make this show? It's because amidst all the angry reviewers out there, there were no positive reviews I could find on YouTube that were anywhere remotely decent. Zero! I searched for over two months and nothing ever showed up. So I figured if nobody's gonna change it, I might as well do it myself. I mean, I'm not good, but the purpose of Still Gaming was to try and inspire others that were better than me to actually get out there and make something great. And I have inspired several great shows, most notably uh, Dina's Game Den and Little Miss Gamer. So, with a budget of zero dollars, I took a game that was already two years old, a headset that was falling apart, and Windows Movie Maker, and I made this whole video on a one painful Saturday. I was in a ton of pain that day. The chronic pain I have was wreaking havoc on me and I had no medicine that could do anything about it. I was about to have a nervous breakdown just saying, I can't do anything, I can't do anything. But I eventually just got angry at my pain and said, fuck it, fuck it, let's do this now. And what you're seeing here is honestly and truly my first attempt at ever creating a video. I didn't know how to edit, I never posted public photos of myself on the internet, never even recorded my voice. This was about as new as you could get, and surprisingly it turned out really, really well. Even though this video has over 960,000 views, I really think it's just because I got lucky with a search engine or the related videos feature. It's only been favorited 700 times, so I know it wasn't great. I thought it was okay for a first try though, I mean, I knew it wasn't great, but I knew it was probably good enough to inspire people to either make their own show or at least go out and buy the game. Series 1 was completely unscripted as far as I know. I mean, that was pretty bad. I guess it's okay to not have a script, but I didn't even have so much as an outline. Some episodes I do now, they're like fully scripted or halfway scripted, but I at least always have a stupid outline now. There were so many reviews where I just only said half of what I wanted to say. And Budokai, I think I said everything I was going to say, but I had to actually cut stuff off. And people still complained that it was too long, clocking in at over 8 minutes. The worst example of that was Mega Man Legends, because... That review was only about half as long as it needed to be because I just I just forgot to say so many things. There were some things I mentioned I would, I would say later in the review, and I didn't do it. Does that mean we might have to um, expand on that review a little bit later? Mm, I don't know. I think we're about to come up on like the first segment I ever recorded where... Uh, oh god, it was like the most unflattering picture I ever made. 
it, it shows me doing like this killer combo on Gohan, I, like transform like five times, two, three, four, just showing off my mad skills, not really have any, it also shows that the game has kind of bad animations, and then you see, oh god, Mm, that. <laughs> Wearing a crab trap shirt while eating a controller. And that's probably not the last time you'll see me eating a controller. Actually, yeah, I have to get another picture of that happening, and it's going to come up si No, not going to tell you. You're just going to have to figure that one out. This is probably my first time watching this in over a year, because I can't stand to watch any of my old stuff. I'm not... I'm not really satisfied with any of my old reviews except for River City Ransom because it helped sell a lot of DVDs from um, my favorite indie filmmakers and Vector Man, maybe. Oh god, here's this part where I was going to talk about story mode for like four whole minutes and then I was like, ugh, this review's already getting too long. Let's just cut this down to 15 seconds and make it sound kind of funny. So you just see me struggling with controls here. If somebody's familiar with Budokai 3, uh, it's like really hard to be able to land on certain spots for secret items when you can't find them. Whatever. Oh, the Cybermen. It's like if your PS2s are really a piece of crap, your loading screen can go on for a long time and you can make like 15 Cybermen grow. I apologize if I sound pretty tired right now. Usually... I, I like to be enthusiastic, but uh, I'm not feeling too well today, but <laughs> during reviews, I like to show as much enthusiasm as, as, enthusiasm as possible, because that's one thing that's missing from reviews, even professional reviews, is they don't really realize that having, having charisma will really take you a long way. I guess it's just like some kind of stigma against having charisma because you want to try and look professional. But I'm not professional. I'm just a guy who likes to play video games, likes to talk about them, and hopefully I can get people interested in buying the game or I can convince people not to buy that brand new game that's supposed to be really good but ends up being a big old turd bucket. Oh god, it's the infamous montage. Here we go, a staple of the series. Yeah. I am definitely not proud of this. I mean, I, I have tried to get rid of this animation and not put it in the show anymore, but people just love it so much, and I always find an opportunity to put it in somewhere. I was going to retire it after Series 2, but Soul Calibur 4 gave me an opportunity to bring it back. And as you notice, I think I've only used it once this in Series 3, and I do have it in the so opening far, animation for a brief few seconds. Jeez, it looks like my hair is like graying out, and if you see, I actually use a rating. I gave it a B minus minus. I don't use ratings anymore because I just don't have any value in them, and people always want to know, what's the score? It only matters if you give it a score. No, s scores are dead. Wow, my background was so very boring back then. Dina's still pretty mad that I have all that crap on my back wall now, but I had to do it to try and bring life to the show, because you see in this background, all you see sometimes is Osaka, Vampire Hunter D, a bunch of Egyptian crap in the background, strategy guides. And here's something Dina spent like an hour on. I told her not to do that. People think that my teeth were actually yellow here. No, we actually colored them yellow and made them super saiyan, just like with the hair. And then the world explosion. Oh, God. Okay, and that has been a commentary on not necessarily Budokai 3, but just how how everything got started. And it's been a long ride, and I've been gone for most of it, but 3,000 subscribers despite being an inconsistent dud, that's pretty good. So hopefully when I start getting consistent, I'll be able to bring in some more viewers. You guys are really helping out a lot with your with your ratings and because you're getting me higher up in the search engines. I'm, I'm doing the best I can and I'm just grateful to even have one subscriber and one viewer because there's some people out there that'll put up a review and it'll get like 800 views in five months even though they have more talent than me and that's very unfortunate. So what you're going to notice on my account, you're going to notice that I feature videos a lot more on the main page that are not mine. So keep a lookout for some great reviews from people you've not subscribed to yet. So, sorry for the lack of enthusiasm. Maybe later I'll be able to just get all pumped up. Okay. Here we go.
Next time on Steel Gaming, can you guess what the review is going to be? Ugh, okay, back to bed. See you later.